and my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation of the Pineapple Beret tutorial, and we are on round nine. Yes, hope all of you are doing well, and thank you for tuning in for another fun-filled adventure. All right, so as I said before, we were, we were increasing, not decreasing, we were increasing with these fans, and now we're going to be decreasing, um, which is essential. Otherwise, we have an open, floppy, flippy, floppy hat. Uh, so I just need to do my slip stitches here, and then we can get into round nine. So we're in one of the spokes, so chain up three. Do a double crochet into that chain space. Chain two and two more doubles into the chain space. There we are. All right, so to work on the decreasing of these fans, going to chain three and into the first double crochet, do a single crochet like so, chain three, skip a double, going into the next double with a single crochet, chain three, skip a double, going into the next with a single, and we're going to do this all the way across. So chain three, skip a double, going into the next with a single, chain three, Skip a double, going to the next with a single, chain three, and one more. Skip one, going into the next with a single. So we got all these happy little loops at the top here, and that's going to create our lattice work. So from here, chain three, and into this spoke here, into the chain two space, do a double crochet and another. So we've got two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. Okay, and then the rest of the round really is essentially the same thing. So from here, chain three, into the first single crochet, sorry, into the first double crochet, do a single crochet, pardonne-moi, chain three, skip one, going to the next with a single, chain three, skip one, going to the next with a single, chain three, skip one, going to the next with a single, chain three, skip one, going into the next with a single, chain three, skip one, going into the next with a single, chain three, and we're going to go into the next spoke with two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And we're just going to do the rest of this round in the same fashion, creating these cute little loops at the top. Now, in the previous video, I had mentioned that you could change the number of double crochets that you have down here, as long as you have an odd number of double crochets, you can pull off this method with the loops. Um, for this, we went from 7 to 9 to 11, just by increasing on the edges here by 1. Um, you could, you know, increase more if you are inclined to do so. Just as long as you have an odd number of double crochets, this will work. So, that being said, just work your way around, and when you reach the, the end of the round after doing your cute little loops, do a chain three, and then slip stitch to the top third chain, slip stitch into the double, and then slip stitch into the chain two space. Okay, and that will conclude round nine. 
Okay, round 10. Now the decreasing is going to be a bit more obvious at this point. So right now we're going to start just as we have been by chaining up three and doing another double crochet into that chain two space, chain two, and two more doubles into that chain two space for our spoke. All right. And because we're not changing the chain length in between our spokes and our pineapples, this is where some of the decreasing is going to start happening. So chain three, and then into this chain three space, not this chain three space, this chain three space, this cute little loop over here, do a single crochet into that space, and then chain three, and then single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, and there you go. So then we have to go back up to the next spoke. So chain three, oh, oh, two, three, there we go. And then into the spoke, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, just as we have been. So two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. And then to go to the next pineapple, chain three. And then again, skipping this first chain three space, going to the next chain three space with a single, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, and single into the last loop, last loop. <laughs> and then to get to your next spoke, of course, three chains, and then into that chain two space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. One, two, and then two doubles. There you go. All right, so for the rest of this round, continue on in this fashion. And essentially we went from having five of these cute little loops to four of these cute little loops. And it's gonna continue on pretty much in the same fashion for the rest of this piece. However, of course, yes, I'm going to do each row for you because I like being thorough. So that being said, work your way all the way around until you reach the beginning again. All right, focus. Thank you. Um, so then when you reach the end here, you're going to be going from five loops down to four loops, chain three, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, and I will meet back up with you for round 11. Round 11. Okay, well, like I said, round 11 is going to be pretty similar. So we're going to start by chaining up three. Double crochet into the chain two space. Chain two, two more doubles into that same space. Nothing new there. Okay, now from here, we need to hop, skip, and a jump over to our pineapple. So chain three. And again, do not go into this loop. Go into this little loop over here with a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next loop. Chain three, single crochet into the next loop. Chain three, single crochet into the next loop. And we've reached the end. We have no more loops. You know, again, be careful not to go into this loop. Otherwise, it's not going to be a pineapple. It's going to be a pineapple upside down. 
Okay, so chain three and into the spoke, that chain two space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Okay, then we have, yes, the next pineapple. So of course, again, we're gonna do the exact same thing by chaining up three, and then into the loop, that first loop over here, single, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, and we're out of loops. So chain three, and then into the spoke, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Double, double, boil and trouble. <laughs> chain two and two more doubles. And really that is how the rest of this round is going to go. So we went from five to four and now we only have three little loops. Pretty soon we won't have any. All right, I'm going to meet back up with you at the end of the round. Well, I'm going to meet back up with you with for round 12. But um, now if you noticed that it's starting to fold back on itself, and that is what we want. Yes, it does look a little bit wonky, but we do want it to fold back on itself because we're forming the crown right now. So yes, it does look like a really wonky pancake that Julia Child would be embarrassed about, but no, this is what we want, trust me, you know, and it will really come together, believe it or not, with like the final two rounds, because right now you're like thinking to yourself, how is this possibly going to work? It works, trust me. I'll meet back up with you for round 12. Okay, round 12. Start by chaining up three, double crochet into the same space, chain two, two more double crochets into that same chain two space. Okay, then, yep, yeah, we have to decrease the number of our loops. When we have three, well, we need two now. So, chain three single crochet into the loop, chain three, single into the next loop, chain three, single into the next loop, and we're out of loops already. Goes quick. So we went from three down to two, and of course, again, we have to go into the spoke, so chain three, into the chain two space of the spoke, two doubles, chain two and two more doubles, okay, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next loop, chain three, single crochet into the next loop, and we're out of loops again. So chain three, and then go into the next spoke with two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. And just keep on keeping on in the same way for the rest of the round, decreasing your loops from three down to two. And then when you reach the very end and you've done that, chain three, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. Okay, and I'll meet back up with you for round 13. Round 13. Alrighty, so again, yep, I know, lots of repetition, right? 
chain up three, double crochet into the same space, chain two, two more doubles into the same space, chain three, and then untangle your yarn as needs be. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so skipping right along over after doing our chain three to the little loop there with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three loop, and I have a knot. Sorry about that technical difficulty. So uh, we went from three, sorry, we went from two loops down to just one loop. And right now there's my spoke. And so from there, from where we are here of this single crochet, chain three, and then going into the spoke with two doubles, chain two, two doubles, There we go. And then off to the next pineapple. So chain three, and then into that chain three space. Again, be careful not to go into this initial chain three space, but into the actual little lattice loop with your single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, and then off to the next spoke by chaining three and then into that spoke two doubles chain two two doubles and continue on in this fashion for the rest of the round and i will meet back up with you for round 14 just don't forget that after you have your one loop at the top here you chain three and slip stitch, slip stitch, and slip stitch. Meet back up with you. Okay. Round 14. All right, now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, we only have one more loop, right? Well, not to worry. We shall have that worked out, no problem. So I'm gonna start by chaining up three and do another double into that same space chain two, two more double crochets. I tell you, the humidity is making this rather difficult because my yarn keeps sticking. Probably hear it squeaking. All right, so we've got our two doubles, chain two, two doubles. All right, so now chain three, and then into that one lonely little chain three space, because one is the loneliest number, um, into that space, do a single crochet, then chain three, and then skipping right over to the next spine, spoke, what have you, with two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles, and then chain three, and then going to the next chain three loop, and do a single crochet into that little guy. Chain three, and then going on to the next spoke with two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, that's all well and good, but it's still really, really open at the top. Well, not to worry because I got you covered. Um, within the next, I believe, two rounds, believe it or not, will be done. And you're probably thinking, no, no way. Yes way. Just keep on keeping on in the same fashion by doing your spokes, chain three, single crochet, chain three, spoke, spoke, um, all the way around. And then when you reach the beginning, do your spoke, chain three, single crochet, chain three, slip, 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 
And then, yes, if I'm not mistaken, it's only two more rounds and we will be done. All right, I'll see you for round 15. Round 15. Oh, we are so close to being done, my goodness. All right, so chain three, uh, double, I was going to say single, no, double crochet into the same space, chain two, and two more double crochets into the same space. You know, when I said earlier that, you know, that aspect does not change, nope, it hasn't. All right, so now we are going to be bridging the gap with this chain three space and this chain three space, we're gonna completely skip right over that. And we're gonna be creating sort of the, the star shape at the very crown. So from here, going to go directly into the next spoke right over here, this chain two space with another spoke cluster. So after doing this one, just skip right all, all, all across, you know, and do your two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And you don't need to do any chains in between your clusters there. And that is going to create your star shape at the top. And after this, we just have one more round to go, but this considerably makes the top cinched up. So going directly into the next spoke with another cluster of two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And then going into the next spoke, got a lot of fabric here, bear with me. Okay, into the next spoke. So two doubles. chain two and two doubles. And then go into the next one. And you want this join to be tight if you can manage it. You don't want it to be loosey goosey. You know, nice, nice and tight. So two doubles, chain two, two more doubles. And we've got one more. Two doubles. Chain two. And two more doubles. Okay, now from here, going into that first cluster that we did, we just go directly from here to doing a slip stitch into that first spoke of clusters with a slip stitch. And again, you want it to be somewhat taut. Okay, and then slip stitch into the next double and then into the chain two space. And we are almost done. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. But we still have to close up this top area. Not to worry, I got you covered. And we will do that in row 16. Well, round 16. I'll get it right one of these days. Round 16. All right, so now we need to create, they're sort of like flower petals, if you will. I'm gonna start by chaining up two, not three, but two. And then we're going to do a couple of double crochets together. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, but don't finish it. We're gonna need a total of four loops. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all four. There we go. Nice little cluster there. Then going into the next chain two space. I don't do any chains in between. I just go directly in. So 
pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then I pull through all five, like so. And then I'm going to do this with the rest of these. And the reason why I don't finish the double crochets until the very end is because it creates a nice point to the petal. There we go. You know, brings it to a nice point. So it's not bunched up at the very center. So pull up a loop, pull through two, 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 and then pull through all five. There we go. Do it again. Pull up a loop and pull through two. And pull through all five. There we go. And I've just got one, one more. Yep, one more. This one right here. And I told you that it comes together. It doesn't seem like it will, but it does. And usually I do my hats from the top down, not from the bottom up. So this was a bit of a, an adventure for me. All right, so that is the end of the crocheting. Now the, the top, it still looks a little bit wonky and not finished. So I'm gonna show you how I like to sew in my ends. So I'm gonna cut my yarn, leaving a nice tail. And I'm gonna pull out my loop. There we go. And grab your yarn needle. And I'm gonna show you how you can sew in your ends so that it's nice and neat. All right, so I've got my six petals here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to go directly from here to that first petal that we made, going through these loops like that. Okay, and then pull the tail through and then go through the loops of the next petal like so. And you don't have to cinch it really tightly just yet. After you go all the way around, then you can cinch it. And usually I don't film this aspect because usually it's much more straightforward, but this one I thought, you know what? Let's do it to it and show you how I go about doing this because this is this was a, a different approach for me as well. But it works. It works. And so what I like to do is go through all of them, preferably at least twice. So I am sure that that tail is not going to go anywhere because that's the last thing you need, right? And I can cinch this up right now. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's like it was meant to be. And so as far as the, I'm gonna stitch more of that, but as far as the other tail, now I didn't turn this inside out like I usually do, but for the other tail, very simply what I like to do is I like to go through one of the base stitches and then on the inside of the, the ribbing here, what I like to do is I like to go up just a little bit from the edge, just go through the, the front post 
well, technically this is the back post because this is the inside. And then I like to go through part of the, the ribbing in the back here, and then through another post stitch, and then through the back, and then through a post. through the back, and through the post, and then sort of fiddle with the post a little bit, just going through the post itself, not going through the fabric, for a couple of stitches in sort of a mattress stitch kind of way, and then double back on itself a little bit. I don't like knots. Oh gosh, I, I do not like knots. Not if I can help it. Brunch. And then I cut my tail. Boop. And there you go. And of course, yes, I can sew this in a little bit more. But there you have it. We have ourselves a finished pineapple beret. And it is lovely. And so when you flatten it out and give it a good top-down view, it is a thing of beauty to behold. Mm. It's almost like a snowflake like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Love it. All right, my dears. So I'm like, I'm going to deal with this later, but... That concludes the pineapple beret hat. I really hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun figuring out how to work out this pattern. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% unique because I'm sure that there are others like it, but this particular pattern I created myself and I'm very pleased with the results. I am. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below and uh, hit subscribe because I do try to post often, whether it's crocheting or knitting or audiobook narrations, or of course, visit my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, for video game playthrough and commentary. A lot of fun. Would like to see you there too. And until next time, you know what to do. Stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and stay safe. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye for now.